ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ एवरीवन ਨਾਓ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ YouTube ਚੈਨਲ ਫਲਾਈਂਗ ਟਰਬਨੇਟਰ ਆ ਦੀ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਫੋਰ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਅ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਰਿਸੀਵਿੰਗ ਨਿਊਮਰਸ ਕੁਐਰੀਜ਼ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਔਨ ਮਾਈ ਇੰਸਟਾਗ੍ਰam ਐਂਡ ਫੇਸਬੁਕ ਹੈਂਡਲ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫਲਾਈਂਗ ਟਰਬਨੇਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਸਮ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਔਨ ਮਾਈ YouTube ਚੈਨਲ ਔਨ ਹਾਊ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਅ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਸੋ ਵੈਲ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਅ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਥੈਟ becoming a pilot is uh, one of the best professions uh, especially in this part of the world in india uh, this is one of the professions where uh, your salaries are paid uh, at international standards so uh, as a pilot your salary is calculated in dollars paid in rupees of course so uh, no matter where you fly in the world you pretty much receive similar salaries the only difference between flying uh, in uh, uh, a very well developed country and a developing country would be just maybe 10 or 20% and uh, keep in keeping in view the cost of living in this country being a pilot is being rich so uh, so i start off my video here uh, with uh, the information relating to how to become a pilot the first thing is that uh, you should have your 10 plus 2 your grade 12 with maths and physics with uh, 55% marks and if you don't have it you could appear uh in the open uh, university exams and clear your uh, 10 plus 2 and i i can tell you it's worth it the uh, second thing to do is get your medicals done because unless you're fit it's no point being a pilot so to get your uh, flying started you need to get your uh, class 2 medical done uh so the class 2 medical uh, entitles you to start uh, your training flying in the country and uh, so The first thing you do is you go online dgca.gov.in in the uh, medical uh, uh, section uh, there is a uh, a list of uh, approved class 2 medical centers where your class 2 medical can be carried out so once you uh, get your class 2 medical done from uh, these centers any of these centers uh, they will forward your uh, medical uh, Uh, report to uh, DGCA and uh, DGCA has a medical cell which is run by the Indian Air Force and they will generate a medical assessment uh stating that you are fit to carry out your privileges as a uh, as mentioned in the class 2 medical so once you've uh, done your class 2 medical the next thing to do now is to get your class 1 initial medical done So I recommend that the class 1 initial medical should only be done by uh, at any of the four air force centers in the country you have one in Jorhat you've got uh, one in Ghaziabad you've got one in Delhi and you've got one in Bangalore so the good the reason I suggest you do it from the air force is because the standards are very very high and uh, this is where you will be going uh, regularly for your medicals through the through your entire career and uh, if you're certified fit by uh, the air force medical centers uh it's there is no chance of any ambiguity of uh, anything coming up in the future uh and especially since uh, you will be investing uh, the hard earned money of your uh, family or your parents or whatever uh, resources you use uh it is very important that this is one factor that you check before you start flying so uh you have your uh, medical done so once you've got your uh, initial medical done which takes like 2 2 days uh a medical assessment is generated again so this medical assessment is valid for 1 year the class 1 medical and it has to be renewed every 1 year you can't let it lapse uh and you can carry out your uh, renewal of your medical like uh, any time after 11 months and any time uh, within 12 months so uh the next thing to do is apply uh to DGCA for your uh, computer number so uh there's a website called pariksha.dgca.gov.in on uh, this website uh you could go and uh, apply for a computer number once you have a computer number this number remains with you for life so this computer number uh, uh entitles you to uh sit for any dgc exams that uh, you be uh, appearing for uh, in your career go to dgca.gov.in now click on personal 
and uh, click on medical down below the list of uh, class 2 medical examiners here and places you can get your class 2 medical examination done uh, these are all the impaneled uh, medical examiners and also the list of hospitals and uh, so you could uh, get in touch all the phone numbers emails are provided here uh, next uh, showing you the list of class 1 approved medical centers where you can uh, carry out your class 1 uh, medical examination uh, go through the uh, detailed uh, description uh, on the website it uh, shows you uh, more information than uh, I have been uh, speaking about in my video it will clear any of your doubts that you may have uh, once you go through this so you have uh, medical centers in uh, Jorhat, Delhi, Bangalore and in Hindon that is in Ghaziabad so uh, you also have uh, two uh, private hospitals uh, one is in uh, Mumbai and one is in Chennai that carry out the uh, initial uh, class 1 medical examination so now uh, showing you the Pariksha website which is accessed from the dgca.gov.in website so you uh, click to proceed here go to flight crew select uh, new candidate uh, registration so once you do that it's going to take you uh, to the instructions to uh, the candidates. So here uh, specifically mentions that computer number is a pre prerequisite for appearing for any uh, examination. So, so now uh, next I'm going to show you a detailed uh, application uh, online how and what all you need to fill up. So just uh, follow the process uh, as shown to you on the website and uh, go step by step and uh, fill up all the details here it's uh, it's rather simple uh, the only uh, thing is once you know where to go it makes life very easy and that's why I've uh, shown you all the details here so once you have done this all you need to do at the end of uh, the whole uh, process is hit submit and uh, you're all set and this should uh, help you generate your computer number the details of uh, time will be mentioned on the website in the description that uh, how many days will it take for you to receive your computer number So the uh, process is rather simplified than uh, before. Uh, everything can be done online and uh, the response rate is quite good. The, uh, they respond quite promptly. So the first exam that you need to uh, appear for are your CPL exams. So if you're doing your CPL from India, you'll be appearing for five exams, which is the air regulation, your uh, air navigation, meteorology, your uh, aircraft uh, technical general and aircraft technical specific that is the aircraft that you will be flying every aircraft that you want to get an endorsement on or learn flying on you have to pass the uh, technical exam for that aircraft so and if you if you're uh, not flying in India and you've gone abroad and you've carried you've done your uh, flying your CPL license abroad then when you come back to India you have to appear for your uh, air regulations examination and your uh, composite the composite is uh, a combined exam of the uh, air navigation and your uh, meteorology uh, besides these uh, examinations for your CPL to operate a radio uh, communication equipment in this country uh, you need a license called the RT license so to carry out uh, your uh, 
privileges as a pilot, you also need an RT license, which is uh, issued by the WPC, uh, Ministry of uh, Telecommunications. And uh, this exam happens six times a year. Uh, this is the examination schedule for the uh, RTR exam. Um, the CPL exams and the uh, composite exams for the conversion happens four times a year. So if you're doing a CPL in India and you pass all your five papers and your RT exam, so the next best thing to do is to uh, go to a flying club and get your flying out of the way. It's just 200 hours of flying, depending on where you, where you uh, go and, and uh, do your flying. It could take anywhere from six months to maybe uh, two years to complete your flying. So based on what I just told you in this video, uh, you have uh, managed to secure uh, a commercial pilot's license. Now, uh, the uh, next thing I'm going to do is to answer a few queries that people had. First is about uh, your glasses. Well, if you're uh, as long as your eyesight is correctable to a six by six, you, you're good to go. You, you can be a pilot. Second thing, people ask me about how tall you need to be. Well, that's, that's an interesting question. Yes, there is a requirement to be at least uh, five feet and uh, two inches to be a pilot. And uh, there is also a testing that is done, uh, a cockpit testing wherein uh, uh, it is checked if you're eligible to become a pilot based on your height. The uh, next thing that I get asked is uh, about uh, laser correctable surgery. Well, see if you're starting off uh, to becoming a pilot now, you're probably uh, 18 or 19 years old. And uh, at, at this age, uh, getting your eyesight corrected using lasers is not recommended. Uh, the other thing they get asked is, uh, can you wear contacts and fly? Yes, you can wear contacts and fly, but I don't recommend it. Uh, the other other thing that I get asked is, uh, can I get a job with a CPL, just a CPL? Yes, you can get a job with a CPL. I got a job with just a CPL, but yes, it gets it gets difficult. So, uh, what do I have to do next? So the next thing that you should be doing is getting yourself trained on a bigger airplane. Ideally, an Airbus 320 or a Boeing 737. So in my next video uh, on this subject, I will be uh, covering the prospects of uh, doing your Boeing 737 and your Airbus T20 rating, the most popular ratings to do right now uh, that make you more employable in this country. So uh, till then, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so you could see me uh, posting my videos. I do a lot of vlogging. Uh, I travel around the world as an airline pilot. I go cycling around the world on a foldable cycle. I do a lot of interesting things that you could be doing if you became a pilot. So see you soon with your wings and your applets on. Cheers.